Let's talk for a few minutes about preparing for class. And this is something that you're going to find to be very important as you uh, go through the process. And the, uh, the case that we're going to use in, in this area is uh, Erie v. Tompkins, which is a very important case. And we'll, 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 we won't go through the entire case for this section, but we'll use it as a model as, as to uh, how to go through this process of preparing for class. Uh, the first element of preparing, preparing for class is to budget your time. And budgeting your time is a very, very important process. I mean, it's, it's essential to preparing for, for class in general. Uh, and, and what that means is that uh, you should have a, a, a weekly schedule for yourself for all of your classes. And specifically, preparing for, for classes uh, on any given day, the day before you should be preparing your, your, your daily routine. You should have a, a, a schedule for you know, when you get to class, preparing, for, preparing to arrive at school, um, preparing to, to go through the process of you know, changing clothing in the winter or you know, going through your locker and such and you know, just getting yourself relaxed when you get there, and, and, and getting ready for, for classes. Now, on a daily basis, uh, you will have classes starting in the morning. You will finish some time in the afternoon, and then you'll have some time, you know, for meals and such, travel to and fro. And it's going to be very important for you to budget your time as to how and where you study. Your studying is going to be uh, critical, and you should allot uh, an appropriate amount of time each night. Um, for each class that you're going to have the following day. So you, you're going to wind up doing what's comfortable for you. It may be, you know, three hours per class or, or some such uh, uh, factor. Whatever, whatever you feel comfortable with, but just allow yourself um, some time during the evening. You have a meal, and then uh, throughout the night, you're going to be, you know, spending several hours uh, on, a, on a daily basis. Read the cases. That's obviously the, 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 the core of what we're doing here. Read the cases and the notes. It's very important that you read all of the cases. There's, there's no way of getting around this. There's, there's no shortcut uh, in law school for, for, for doing this. You have to read the cases and, and also make sure that you read the notes at the end of each section of, of cases, and in many cases, many situations after each case. You'll find a series of notes. It's important that you read the cases, read the notes that go with the cases. You will find several different uh, notations after a major case is, 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 uh, is uh, set forth in your, your case book. You'll find paragraphs with uh, maybe three, four, or five other uh, smaller notations about other cases on related subject matter. It's very important that you read those, those cases, th those notes that are in those cases. Th th uh, uh, read those notes that follow those cases, that is. Next, brief the cases. It's very important that you brief your cases. And we, we have a, a, a special section herein uh, so that you uh, have an idea of, of the appropriate method of briefing the cases. It's very important that you review the cases for understanding. In other words, you're going to be uh, faced with a, a huge amount of work. You're going to have a lot of material. There, there are going to be different parties to these cases. There are going to be different elements. There are going to be different causes of action, fact patterns, and all this stuff. It's very important for you to read the cases and 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 whatever do do what you can to read for understanding. In other words, reread when you need to. Go over a paragraph, go over a page, go over the whole case, because it's important that you not just go. You know, you're, you're not just reading. You're not. You're just. Try, you're not trying to get just from point A to point B. You are reading for understanding, and that's very important. So go through the process of of, of reading again for understanding. Uh, and you will find that that is very important for you to uh, understand what the case is about, you know, the, the general scope of the case, understand the point of law that's being asserted. Why, you know, why is this case in, this, in, the, in the case book? 
while you're studying at, at, at this, in, in, in this area of the law, understand the point of law and understand the, the analysis. I think, how did the court reach its decision? Uh, how, how did, how did the, the court come out? Um, so when you're doing this, read for understanding as to the case, as to the point of law, and as to how the court reaches analysis.